I'm sharing today along with the National Adrenal Disease Foundation about COVID-19 and adrenal insufficiency steroid dosing at this time. So typically when I share a video along with them, I will receive the information, read it, and then uh, break it down and explain it to you in my own words. However, because such this is such a particular and very serious topic that I do not want to miss anything, I'm actually just going to read exactly the things that they shared with me so that I'm not leaving out any important information. So this is to address steroid dosage in general while COVID-19 is happening and around just so that we have an understanding about what we're supposed to be doing with our steroids because it can be a little confusing at this time and I know a lot of people have been asking about when to stress dose and how they should adjust their current dosage. So I'm going to read what the National Adrenal Disease Foundation has shared on that topic. When individuals with adrenal insufficiency are not sick and therefore not requiring, requiring stress dosing, they should not be taking higher or lower doses of hydrocortisone, hoping it will protect them from getting sick. They should continue their regular replacement dose as prescribed unless otherwise instructed by their physician. Basically, do not take extra steroids as a precautionary way of hoping you won't get sick or thinking it will prevent you from getting the virus. Take your normal steroid doses unless otherwise advised by your medical team or professional. If you do get sick, increase the dose following stress dosing guidelines, as in illness with a fever, 100.4 to 102, double your hydrocortisone replacement dose until recovery, about two to three days, or if you have a fever, of 102.2, triple your hydrocortisone and replace dose until recovery. That's typically two to three days. You can also find all of these guidelines on the National Adrenal Disease Foundation's website under Tools for Life um, Stress Dosing Protocol. So all of that will be in there as well. If an acute condition develops and the patient needs to be on a ventilator, the steroid dosing will depend on the specific circumstances of each individual. Generally, for ventilated patients, they will use stress dose IV hydrocortisone 100 milligrams every eight hours, but there may be situations where a lower dose may be appropriate. So this is talking about if someone does end, on a end up on a ventilator and they're wondering how much stress dose they should be taking, those are the typical guidelines of 100 milligrams every eight hours. So this is information that you will wanna know going into the hospital before doing that. So that way you can share that with the medical professionals wherever you're going. Individuals with all types of adrenal insufficiency, both primary and secondary adrenal insufficiency, should exercise extra precautions right now and follow the CDC recommendations for individuals at a higher risk. So you can head over to the CDC and click on their ex, um, advice for high-risk individuals. My understanding, stay home, stay inside, use all precautions. If you do go anywhere, masks, gloves, be incredibly mindful, be incredibly careful, and honor the six-foot distance and stay out of contact from people because our bodies are at a higher risk and so we have to be incredibly mindful as a form of protection. So those are the basic outlines of what we should be doing as far as steroid dosing. Basically, stick to your normal dose, don't try to change it as a form of self-medicating. Stress dose accordingly if you are sick with the appropriate guidelines stated out on the National Adrenal Disease Foundation. Make sure that you are aware that 100 milligrams of IV hydrocortisone should be given to you every eight hours, possibly a little bit lower if you do end up ventilated and follow the CDC guidelines. These, this is the basic overview because we just wanna make sure that everyone has the information, is practicing these practices to keep themselves safe and healthy and that everyone is on the same page.